Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I used to be good at this game. Once upon a time, uh, that was also back when they... <laughs> it was when they used to have good items uh, in the game that you could use to... Okay, so we're... Look, it, it's my fault for taking chaos last time. I'm only salty because I also had a, a, a blue baby run on stream right after it that like literally was almost a carbon copy. So we gotta do, um, we're gonna try Lilith Alt Path today. Obviously we got a lot of, like, tainted characters left to do. We got challenges and stuff like that. I'm not really, um, Q2XF1NCK. I'm not really suffering. Um, I think the people, like, they, they forget, you know? I'm, I'm cut from a different cloth, you know? I, I was born in the generation where, you know, things didn't come easy. I'm a millennial, you know? We had to make myriad phone calls. We got participation trophies. Like, life was tough, man. That's what people are always saying, I think. I don't follow the discourse too much. Um, but but life was tough. You know, losing in a video game a little bit here and there, it doesn't present me with a great deal of, like, mental anguish or anything like that. I don't really think I need a tolerance break to the extent of, like, you know, there's some easy challenges to knock over. Uh, just to get your mind right. I honestly think, you know, the, the best thing you could do for confidence is, is not to... Yeah, okay. Uh, is not to be like, you know, oh, I just need to like, you know, farm some dopamine off of like the easiest challenge in the game. I, I think I would feel slighted. I, w I would feel um, like I, I did myself a disservice to some extent. I think if I did that, what we should do is try to do what we know we're capable of. Beat some challenges that are a little bit, uh, or, you know, custom challenges essentially that are a little bit on the tougher side in most situations, but at the same time, you know, it, the reward will be that much sweeter once we get out the other side. This is interesting. I'd prefer not to get shot here. It's an interesting play, right? Like, what do you think about... Um, please. I just get playing it cool. What do you think about the possibility... Don't shoot me! Of getting something from our shop here. We could get King Baby, right? But King Baby is kind of... is. Am I correct in the assumption King Baby is still kind of dooky? Like Green Day's uh, debut album? Um, the, the reason I'm taking it, I suppose, is just because it is indeed a familiar. Uh, and I feel like the more familiars you got, the, the better off you're going to be. Yo, am I insane? Or are the Incubuses actually causing... Uh, they're shooting towards enemies instead of just straight ahead. Never mind. Is this King Baby or is this New Incubus? Because either way, it's the most incredible thing I could ever have imagined. Um, that's, that's amazing. Did we just become best friends? I don't know. I don't know the answer to your question about whether or not we just became best friends. Uh, it might be because of King Baby. Because, like, I, I don't know, man. Is, is doing some wonderful work right here. I mean, we're, we're now playing a tainted character, I'm realizing. We are just more or less standing uh, dead center in the room. <laughs> or, or, you know, wherever dodging makes it most appropriate to stand. And, uh, and, and letting the Incubus do the work for us. I know for a fact, don't try to mess with me, man. You mess with me, this is my building, mine. If it wasn't for me, this place would be Crater City. Yeah, if you mess with me. You're gonna get it. Got it? We'll see about that. The old man just doesn't get it, does he? Um, either way, what was I talking about? Something something silly. Um, we, we now are basically playing uh, a, a tainted character, I think. Like, this is a, a, a new way of living that I've, I've never experienced before. Uh, that, that actually makes Lilith seem kind of awesome, awesome. although apparently, I'm, I'm not sure if they got the hitbox right for this guy, because, uh, they weren't shooting directly at him. Oh, maybe I wasn't pointing in the right direction. Okay. Now, I think we'll, we'll especially, uh, increased planetarium chance, I've been told many times this is an increased planetarium chance, so don't get it, don't get too twisted over it. Um, we are going to preserve our deal, uh, with the angel chance. Because that is, uh, especially when HP is low, that seems like the most pressing thing that you could possibly do here. And I, I gotta be honest with you, I think we got a great thing going here. 
I'm not really worried about getting, uh, like, conjoined. Sometimes you worry- sometimes you're stoked for it, sometimes you're worried. You'd be worried because it does carry a damage downgrade. Um, in- in Repentance, at least. Uh, it's- That hurts. It's easier to get, but it carries a damage downgrade. Uh, a library? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll start there instead of our item room. Even though we probably want to stick with, uh... Box of Friends. Like, it, it's really gonna help us out on those harder bosses, which we're inevitably gonna run into. Um... Mmm, that, that, that'll burn you up a little bit. That'll burn you up a little bit, but life goes on. And again, like, we have an increased planetarium chance, so I'm not sweating it. The only thing I'm sweating is I, I really don't think we should play this Demon Judgment anymore. Just a little too dangerous. Yeah, I, I, I trust in myself here, but hold on. There's always the chance you could get a Spirit Heart here. Even if we don't get a Spirit Heart, it's actually quite likely we'll get enough money to spawn an arcade. And the arcade could be anything. It could even be a boat. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, we got... I, I was not paying attention. We did get there. All right, so so be it. So, uh, I am going to use the Emperor card right away to maximize uh, the, the deal with the Angel chances here. Because we just want to make sure we're not getting hit in advance. Loving box of friends, you're, you're doing amazing work right now. Like, literally, the boss is, is just fighting himself. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Don't forget the knife piece. Very important. Okay, now we're talking. Tier size doesn't, doesn't affect me that much. And we do not care about um, the key piece. Of course, if we had the chance, we'd, we'd prefer it, but... Didn't really... I, I was hoping for a familiar, but maybe, like, it, you know, this is uh, also very good. I can't complain too much. Or, like, at all. Like, this is kind of amazing. So, Circle of Protection. Um, occasionally, I, I don't know the interval, but it, it bounces bullets off of it. And then turns them into homing bullets that hurt the enemies. Obviously, it doesn't bounce every bullet. Otherwise, this would become uh, a, quite a trivial game. <laughs> Which, uh, there, there have been times where that has been the case, but um, it, it, not, not for some time here. You can tell, man, he wants this one. He's, I mean, we're not just throwing our, uh, our life away here. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it, as, as Dan's soundboard would say. I'm really feeling it. Now, if I could just get you to land that, thank you. In fact, I, I, I guess I, I should really just point out that I, I really see our money right now. Rather than being like, oh, we're going to totally use this to buy like some incredible items or whatever. I see it as kind of like an HP engine for us right now while we have no other options. Um, at, at least in a lot of circumstances, we should be able to go to a shop and, uh, and, and pick up some useful merchandise. You're still alive up here, huh? Okay. Um, and th that's really good, honestly. We just, we can't afford to do it just yet, but it's really good. This run may appear kind of, I don't know. Th this is like Schrodinger's uh, run right now, right? Like for some people, I'm sure this is probably gonna come across as like, th this is the best run you could ever ask for. You got everything that the body needs, and for some people, they're gonna be like, you got nothing. You know, you got no talent, you're flat. I've trained contemporaneously. I've, I've trained... classically. I got a degree from NYU Film School, sucker! Who are you? You're nothing. Okay, uh, this is not good. Saved. We're moving on here. No sweat, hold on. I have some important correspondence that, that must be received. And responded to. Okay. Moving on here. I, I, we, we got banter. Not much. <laughs> we got banter stored up, though. And I, I, I shouldn't have even said it because it'll get your hopes up. I actually don't have banter. I'm just trying to, 
you know, call off the dogs, man. We're, we're, just give me a second to get focused on this run, and then we'll we'll move on. Um, to, to talking about stuff that's that's maybe not Isaac related as much, but for now we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do. This is a tough one. Mystery egg is good, but the other thing could be anything. It could even be sprinkler. Um, I don't I don't think we want diplopy. Well, okay, hear me out. Maybe I'm stupid. Um, diplopia is probably worth getting. If we're gonna buy many things in here anyway, I don't think we are though. I think we literally would just get this and this. And we're not gonna use bombs because we need to get the knife piece here. Um, I'm realizing now we're, we're in for a bit of a marathon, but that's okay. Give me a demon baby. Not in real life. I'm, you know, we're, we're first time parents and we're. we're just trying to make it work, you know. We got a baby. She she's very well behaved at the present moment. Would not want to introduce any demonic elements into that. That's totally fine. I'm not mad. Let's see if we can find some white fires on the way back. I guess now that I think about it, we we could just become the lost and like fly over some of this stuff. Fly over some of these obstacles again. Trying not to use my. Uh, my bombs, because I know we're going to need them. Uh, in order to get the, the continue on the alt path. I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this run at present. It's obviously good. Presently, I think it's almost exactly as strong as you would need a run to probably be to uh, beat the alt path. So, you know, that makes it very hard to predict. I'd give us over 50% here. I'll, I'll, you give me the opportunity... I will bet on myself. You, you, you can bring up any number of situations in which I probably was like, I, we got no chance here. Maybe somebody else, but not me. But, uh, and, and that's insanely good, by the way, that, that pickup right there. But, um, you know, I, I like to think that I call my runs honestly. Like, very rarely, I think, do I have an incredible setup. It happens from time to time. Like, a, a, a perfect watch is still wrong twice a day, right? Um, let me out. Let, let me out. Let, let me, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Do I, I, like, I felt like our run just got substantially worse. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, like, occasionally I'll be like, this run's doo-doo, and then, uh, I do do be winning, though. This one, I feel like the, the HP has changed things for sure. Prior to the HP, I felt like we were we were just getting by. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Let's do some more rooms because we we do need to find a, a bomb. That's right. we don't have to technically. We could just go one more floor and then, you know, hope that we find it then. But it would be nice for me to find it now, just because. I mean, we, we can handle the alt path right now, especially with our newfound HP, even though it's unfilled at present. Um, if we could get, uh, if we could get the extra choice in the item room, you can get something amazing. Like, for example, you could turn Mystery Egg into a uh, Sprinkler, which you won't even take with you. Highly recommended. This one seems solid, though. I, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that we're looking real nice here. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't tell me your name. Something, something, you're all the same. You... In 2021, what do you think is listened to more? Ricky Martin's She Bangs or um, William Hung's She Bangs? You may not be aware. Um, this this comes from uh, it's a vestige of an earlier vestige of an earlier time. Um, you might not be aware of that reference. It's a vestige from an even earlier time for that matter, but, um, we can take this guy, I'm not sweating this, man. Just don't get hit early, that would, that would have an enormous impact on my confidence. Um, and don't, don't spin me, like, if you could just, they're, they're, uh, they can't spin me anyway, because I can fly, okay. Um, Ricky Martin, you know, uh, part of the Latin explosion in, in pop music, uh, 
in the, in the late 1990s and very early 2000s. Ricky Martin, Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony, Lou Bega, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There was a, a, a period where there was a lot of Latin influence. So, yeah, I guess the period has not ended, but, you know, there was it was like a boom, like the British invasion, okay? Ricky Martin, number one song, Live in La Vida Loca, everybody knows it. Number two, you're probably looking at something like Shake Your Bomb Bomb. Number number three, maybe you're looking at She Bangs. Now, so this is uh, uh, not one of Ricky Martin's best songs necessarily, but she looks like a flower and she stings like a bee, like every girl in history. Oh, she bangs, she bangs. Okay. Uh, let, get me out of here. We're we're ready to go, man. William Hung, American Idol, maybe like season three, season four. Uh, William Hung was a diminutive student who did not have prodigious vocal abilities sound familiar goes to american idol um basically was mocked not just by the judges but like by the audiences um and went on to have like a uh it's bizarre i i, I would love to get that money i don't trust myself to do it without getting blown up went on to have a very brief career basically being a really noteworthy bad singer um, I, I bet neither of them are that popular uh, in the present era. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, if people are more listening to William Hung's She Bangs than Ricky Martin's. My thesis is as follows. She Bangs is not a good song to begin with. The only reason you would expect somebody to listen to it is for nostalgia. Do you think people would have more nostalgia for, for the Ricky Martin version or for the William Hung version? I think they might have more nostalgia for the William Hung version, quite quite honestly. This is a lot of fun. We have we have fun here. We do a little trolling. Um, I, I deserve it. I deserve it. Am I going to take these? Yes, but not immediately. 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 <laughs> okay, we're okay. Um... It's, it's a weird sort of thing, you know? I don't, I don't know how to describe it fully. People will look back on something like... Uh, like William Hung, and they'll be like, society would never let that happen again. Basically just a man getting bullied on TV. Um, because he's a bad singer. And I'm like... May maybe I'm getting a little too, like, big brain here. I'm like, bro, that's what those shows are. I mean, like, yeah, they're... Part of the show is like, we're going to find the next great, you know, we're going to find the next Kelly Clarkson or Justin Guarini or whatever, right? But then, like, you look, America's Got Talent, The Voice and stuff like that. Like, I feel like 25% of those shows is, and, and we are just going to take the familiar in this case, but I feel like 25% of those shows is like finding, um, you know, talented people of which... There's no shortage. And the other 25% is like ridiculous. Or the, the other 25%? Sorry. Part of the other 75% is uh, these ridiculous like feel-good stories that always make me feel bad. Like I always look at, at stuff like Susan Boyle, who was a very famous uh, case where, you know, she went on one of those shows. I think it might have been like Britain's Got Talent. And she is not, you know, a conventionally beautiful like model type person right she looks like you know your, your average middle-aged woman okay she came on the show and everyone was like basically making fun of her like well oh dear what are you doing here you're oh wow that's so cute that you like think you can compete with carrie underwood or whatever and then so after like taking little pot shots at her and they didn't go like hey miss like you're ugly so you know sit down ha 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 but they you know they were doing like the the sniping like the light bullying sniping that was at her expense and then she opens her mouth and sh and she can sing like a dream and people are like wow it's so inspirational that that this person who is not conventionally beautiful like is capable of doing a skill that's like completely like it has no necessary correlation with your physical appearance to begin with so you know I, I, it, those shows are kind of predicated on that to some extent to begin with 
I will say, like, I'm not gonna say I'm part of the problem, because if it- if the television viewing experience was based exclusively on my taste, those shows would not exist in the first place. However, um, you know what? Just pop that out there. The- the other thing I'll say, though, is that, um, I- I'm certainly not, you know, better than anybody else in this. My favorite part of those shows, uh, you know, is the audition process. There's almost like a little loot box aspect to them, right? Like, one aspect of the loot box is like, um... You know, you never know who's gonna be good or who's gonna be bad, just based on their interview. And then the other aspect is like, you know, when they're... When they're bad, it's a little hilarious. I can't deny that. But, you know, that's... I mean, at, at this point, when you watch a show like that, it's more noteworthy to come across a bad singer than a good singer. You know, there's no shortage of, of great singers on planet Earth. There's no shortage of bad singers either, but they usually don't get quite as much, uh, publicity. Anyway. Big ups to Susan Boyle, man. I... look. I take responsibility for that. Big ups to Susan Boyle, though. Even, like, I mean, Susan Boyle, that story was probably, like, news when I was, like, 17 or something. Even at that relatively young age, I was like... Yo, it seems a little messed up that people were, you know, operating under this implicit assumption that the lady can't sing just because, you know, she looks like your aunt. I don't really understand, like, what, what one has to do with the other or why we're, you know, so surprised to begin with. But then, of course, after she got famous, they gave her a makeover. And then there's a whole new Susan Boyle industry of, like, you won't believe what Susan Boyle looks like now. By the way, we did just get a second Incubus from KMB in Conception. That's that's heavy pog. Is this run's gonna it, I don't think it's gonna be fast, but it's it definitely seems like it has a good chance to get there. Uh I mean it's probably potentially worth a bomb, but it, come across some tinted rocks, you know, we do have to give some HP up on this floor. This this floor, we could take Angel Deal or Devil Deal, really. It, it doesn't matter to me. We have PhD. That's a, that's a beautiful thing right there. This is not a bad run. Like, I... I would never try to sell you on the idea that, like, somehow this run is, is anything less than, at the very least, pretty good. Um... I think we, we've, we've performed reasonably well, hither to this point as well. I'm, I'm feeling feeling totally fine about it. I guess if I had to think about what I want, at this point, knowing that there's a 48-hour a, a energy pill in the rotation, getting enough HP to live to the boss fight, uh, like the, the super boss fight, and then getting 48 hour energy that we could hold on to. We definitely are not taking glaucoma. Don't don't mess with me, man. Anima Sola, no thank you. Um, nice to know it exists for me to poop on. It's not a terrible space bar item. It just it, it doesn't fit our uh, it, our our desires on this run right now are unconventional. Now let's let's be the change we want to see in the world. I'm proud of myself uh, this week. I've been very non-procrastinatory. I've had a lot of stuff, you know, I, I finish streaming, go on baby duty, finish baby duty, cook dinner, finish cooking and eating dinner, tidy up the kitchen feeling tired, but I got some stuff to do. I tell myself, you know, you got every available excuse to not do the stuff that needs to be done. And then I go, ah, and I do it anyway, because I don't, I, I've, I've tried to, and I apologize, we talk about procrastination a lot, uh, but... You know, for me, I've, I'm trying to get out of the... Not that it's a bad... Uh, it, I mean, I think it's a bad habit, but not that I suffer from it greatly to begin with. But, like, definitely, historically, I'll fall behind, you know, things that need to be done. Like, you know, your accountant sends you an email and is like, Hey, we need a response back by, like, the 28th. And they send the email on the 22nd. Like, if the email's only going to take you 10 minutes to respond to... Maybe it's better to just take that 10 minutes on the 23rd or whatever instead of, uh, you know, waiting until the 27th at midnight. And also on from the 23rd to the 27th, um, you know, spending half an hour a day, like, rationalizing why you don't need to do it right away. I think it just leads to 
Uh, not even like, because people, I, I, there's like an inverted productivity gaslight. I, I've coined that term myself. If you're busy, like people get mad at you and then they go, you got to take some time off for yourself. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Like, uh, you know, I got leisure time with the, with the baby and a little knockout city. If anything, I, I reached a point in Knockout City last night playing with randoms where I was happy to fill out uh, a couple of tax forms. Because <laughs> I was like, uh, just every game in Knockout City, uh, with randoms at least, I mean, they're going, pass to me, pass to me. Not because I'm the greatest gamer and I need the ball, but because passing is like so overpowered. Um, so it was almost, it was recreation to not have to uh, suffer, you know, through strangers anymore. But... Um, you know, you, people will, like, be mad. It's like when, you know, occasionally you'll, you'll have, like, uh, maybe a, a friend of yours or, or even yourself, you may have experienced this. Maybe you're not that healthy and you go through a period where you're like, I want to be healthy. Your friends, you know, if, if they're true friends, they'll be like, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. But some people just want you to kind of stay in your in your relative lane, and they'll be like, "Oh, don't punish yourself. You work hard enough. You deserve six slices of chocolate cake after dinner." There's the same kind of thing on the other way. People are like, "Just you know, let let your errands lapse a little bit." I'm not doing it to be like, "Oh, there's value in just in productivity." I'm saying more like, you know, the things that absolutely have to be done. The less you procrastinate, the better you feel. I think. You just got to get over the temporary. Um, I, I don't remember what you do, but I'm going to... Oh, it's a bunch of pills! Let's go! <laughs> okay. Tears up, baby! I do like that PhD interaction where... Uh, when you have an experimental pill, the the it's only positive. It doesn't have a negative anymore as long as you have PhD. That's very... I mean, it's the way you'd think it should work, but still. Like, it, many nights I find myself being like, ah, I wish I didn't have to do this, but then after I do it, I'm like, man, I feel so much better now that I've done that than I would have if I had waited. Anyway, this this run is is popping now, man. It, there's, some, there's some real pop to this. And then, you know, it's nice to have a, a built-in kind of like circuit breaker there as well. Like Saturday, Sunday, if I gotta take an extra day to procrastinate on something, that, that's what those days are there for, man. Along with some rest and relaxation. Okay, toothpicks, we like it. Disappointed, uh, well, we like it. Okay. No, we like it, we like it full stop. I do wish I hadn't uh, lost my, uh, well, hadn't missed my deal with the devil chance there, but it is what it is. We, we did take some damage, not that that had anything to do with it. Um... Always. Now, I'm, I'm looking at two different things here. I'm looking at the clock to make sure I'm not going to be late for my stream. And if possible, maybe also be able to brush my teeth before the stream. Uh, and I, I'm looking at Kane being Conception. And I see now Kane being Conception has hooked us up with a leech. Which is actually... I've said it once, I'll say it again. One of the... One of the most underrated... Items in the Isaac Pantheon. Especially, maybe maybe exclusively, but especially if you have to rely on your red hearts. Like, I mean, if you're blue baby, this is probably not the best item for you. But if you are not blue baby, which you may note that I am not, I, I got a great feeling about this. And I got to remember as well, like, you know, it you, you kind of slip into uh, muscle memory here to some extent. Dude, did you see what the knife did there? That was a that was a nice move. Nifty little move there. Um, the run starts to get a lot faster. Like, we're actually so much closer to the end than we would be on a normal run. Uh, and we got to fight Mausoleum Mom. So this is a great time to use your noggin. Let the leech maybe get you some, some HP if possible. You know, I, I got nothing against playing the uh, the blood bank a little bit more to try to get some Cambian Conception to work. But we got to make sure we have enough HP to survive as well. Does Cambian Conception trigger on, on blood banks or am I losing it? 
I know, yeah, I know we didn't pick up IV bags, so on the rare chance, it's, it, I mean, it could happen, right? On the rare chance we get a, uh, a blood bank on Corpse 1 or 2 that we want to play, um, we may find ourselves wishing we had when we get paid out with another IV bag. The odds of that really come into pass for us, like, you ever, you ever hear of the, um, the rare events fallacy? Again, this is not my area of expertise. I just, you know, I'm a... Before bed, I read these books, you know? But uh, it, it's an interesting thing I, I stole from uh, Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow. The rare events fallacy is the... Uh, to the best of my understanding, listening to Audible while I fall asleep, is uh, the idea that people overestimate the frequency of rare events happening. So if you ask someone, if, if you were able to survey, I guess is a better way to describe it, um, but if you were able to survey what people actually expected or how often people expected, like a 1% hey, hey, uh, chance to occur, they actually, in like their, I, I don't know how to say, like in their brain, I'm not qualified to talk about this, I'm realizing. But th their, their instincts actually are more like, we expect a 1%, uh, an event with 1% incidence to happen like 5% of the time. Um, and similarly, like there, there's actually, that's, that's extremely nice. There's an inversion of this at high incidence rates as well. Um, that, you know, people, if you ask them, you know, how often, or again, ask them is not really the way that I'm, Describing it well, but people have a tendency to underestimate the frequency with which very common events take place. So, for example, if you ask someone uh, if they have, uh, you know, if something has a 95% chance to happen, um, how many times out of 100 would you reasonably expect it to happen? A lot of people, you know, will say 95 because they, uh, you know, understand the probability of that and, you know, it's just the quote unquote right answer. But if you actually uh, if you devise an experiment to test it, they usually end up reporting something like, uh... Wait, we, we, can, we can get these rocks to appear, right? Or the columns, maybe? I can't remember. We got lots of bombs. Just test it. Whatever. Um, they, uh, they actually report feeling more like it's, uh, like an 80%. And I feel like that happens, you know, you can look at that as, as a gamer. Uh, you can look at that in something like XCOM, right? Like, when you have a 95% chance in XCOM, I think people are, like, more anxious than if they have, like, a 75% a chance for whatever reason. And, okay, come on, come on. Come on, man. I mean, I'm going deep on this one. Full health, speed up. Don't blow up. Like, it, we can get something out of this. We, we probably shouldn't be going this hard. On the other hand, I never had a choice. But there's another way, uh, and I don't know if this is exactly in the same uh, area, but this is something interesting that, you know, so I think some people would read stuff like that and be like, oh, those guys are stupid, but not me. Like, I understand this stuff. I'm, I'm built differently. You should also look into the research on, like, you know, human overconfidence. <laughs> we have a tendency to overestimate our own abilities. Uh, myself included, I'm sure. Like, there's some stuff that I read where I'm like, you know what? I totally would have fallen victim to this. Like, for example, let's say you had a... Uh, that was a great item for us to pick up, by the way. Like, that's... It, it saved our life in, in some ways there, I think. Um, let's say you had a... Uh, you know, that you, unfortunately, you talked to your doctor and they diagnosed you with, like, a... Uh, a genetic condition that meant you had like a 5% chance uh, of a rare disease manifesting that would be like extremely bad for your quality of life, right? 5%. You can get a treatment that will take it from 5 to 0. Um, the treatment has very negative side effects, potentially. You know, like nausea, just general unpleasantness and, you know, may maybe some pain and... and temporarily lost quality of life as well but it would eradicate the chance of you getting the disease in the future um would you you know what are the odds that you would do it most people would say yeah absolutely to go from five percent to zero that's a that's a gimme of course i'll do it um 
What if your doctor told you you had a 50% chance to get the disease, but you could lower it uh, to a 45% chance by doing the same treatment? Most people on this actually find themselves like, ah, eh, you know, it's only like a 5% out of 50 reduction in my chance to actually suffer from this. I won't do it. But on an absolute sense, you know, there, there's a... Uh, you're still getting a 5% reduction in your chance to... Vasculitis? I, I forget what you are. <laughs> um, you're still getting, let's go, a 5% chance in your reduction. So I, I don't bring this up to facilitate, you know, the, the obvious, I, I guess, counter-argument, which is like, well, you're not just going from 5% to zero, you're going from, you know, you're, you're eliminating 100% of your risk. I suppose that's true to some extent. I don't, I don't know how, you know, like, I, I didn't write the primary literature on this, so I'm just kind of along for the ride. I do see we have a demon baby now, by the way. Um, let's go, maybe? Um, but it's it's an interesting to think about. That's one where I, I definitely read it and was like, I would totally fall victim to that. I would totally, like, if you, if you, if you were, like, 5% chance to zero, I'd, I'd sign me up, man. If you were like 55 to 50% chance, I would be like, eh, I don't know. It doesn't seem that worth it. What is that, like a 9% reduction in risk? From 55 to 50? 1 in 11? That seems right. You, you, gotta, you gotta test your math a little bit on the internet. People, they'll get on you. I'm not even saying we had it completely right. I'm just, okay. Anyway, the good news is we're bantering. When you're bantering on the corpse, I think that's a great sign that you're, you're in an okay spot for your run. Um, as of right now, we still... Oh, that was really bad. That was actually substantially worse. Um, I still think we got really good odds. Even though we, we ran into it a little bit there. Um, I, I think we got really good odds. One of the things I would like to focus on maybe is, uh, the fact that... The red shots are actually from my, uh, minions and not from... Uh, the enemies most of the time. <laughs> so I think it, it bodes well for us, if possible, to just not dodge the false positives, if that makes sense. Yeah, that seems sensible. Thank you, thank you. I, I still appreciate it. I, at this point, we are reaching a level of... Me, you know, I got, I got a little bit of time to the stream, but I might tell Dan, you know, if, if, if possible, if you keep the wheels spinning a little longer... Give, give someone some advance notice, it'll help you out. Please, please. Please. I'm just, I've given you 35 cents at this point. Ah, there we go, black bean, exactly what I wanted. Okay, hold on. Just take it back here. Talk to my good friend, uh, Daniel. Hello. I might need five, ten extra minutes. And then hit him, if, if you want to keep Dan happy, hit him with the haha. -ha. Also known as Wolves Cringe. That that sends it it's it's a message from dads to dads that you know the home situation with, with the baby maybe was a little bit uh you know high maintenance this morning. And it was. I mean I'm starting a little late today. Ace of Hearts, two of clubs. Hermit, chariot, hierophant, that's beautiful. 48 hour energy. We're, we're keeping 48 hour energy with us. So you might be like, why not take the the chariot into this boss fight? Well, I, I think like it's it's gonna slow us down and take off like 2% of the boss's HP. So I, I, I like where we're at here instead. And dude, we're HP wise, we're getting like major swings here. I think we'll just blow you up. I want to blow you up. Dracula. That's Dracula blowing up a donation machine. By the way, I was totally wrong. We are not on the corpse. Which means uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that I sent Dan that message. Because I thought we were further along than we actually are. But a great angel deal chance, though. Don't lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter too much what we take. Oh, it actually matters a lot because we might as well take the negative. Um... I think you take Guardian Angel here. Why Guardian Angel? Um, it's a familiar. I think Guardian Angel, when it, when it, correct me if I'm wrong, and it's happened before. Um, 
what are you, what are you doing over here? Uh, there's a, a guarantee that it drops like a spirit heart or an eternal heart when it takes a certain amount of damage. That's like a, a really good advantage to having a, a guardian angel. I didn't think there was any chance he'd pay out, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. All right, we are on the corpse. I don't see, I don't see demise in our future. Realize, realize, realize. Oh, okay, so like you might be like, oh, NL, it's not nice of you to send a message to Dan, uh, fifteen minutes before your stream to be like, you wanna, can we delay it ten minutes? To which he, he, he just wait for this one. He replies, Warzone, and I will reply, mm, no can do. It's ninety gigabytes and not installed. And then hit him with another haha. -ha. There you go. One one turn deserves another. <laughs> PUBG on the, no PUBG's not installed either. I'll admit I'm not like a space hog. Like it's a great band, by the way. It's not like I'm using um, you know, my hard drive to like farm for chia or anything like that. Um you sussy baka. It's, uh, it, but some games, you know, they, they just, it, they're so big these days, man. Like, I have a, I think this computer has two solid state drives in it. If, if a, the, the, you know what it is? It's, and I don't know if there's any solution that could possibly be mustered here. Um, but the problem with games being so big is that big games also benefit the most from being on your solid state drive because you know it cuts down the prodigious loading times to something a little bit more reasonable so it's like i don't go around uninstalling games that like oh i might not play this for like a week i'd rather just re-download it next week but stuff like warzone that i might play like once every six months or something like that i'm like you can't have that hard drive space man I need. <laughs> I can't put you on the HDD, or you know, my teammates are gonna be like, "What the heck? You failed to load into the match again." I can't put it on the SSD because you take up like. I mean, if you're if we're paying like three hundred bucks for a solid state hard drive, you're taking up like seventy five bucks worth of real estate. I get it. Like Warzone is a good looking game. It's just freaking huge, man. Just, it's just, it's too big for you. We can fly. I don't know why I'm stupid. Okay. Um, this fight shouldn't be... Oh, oh, the Circle of Protection just owned them. This fight shouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, I have no idea how that works, but I'll take it. We definitely are stoked to have supper. I'll be honest, I think Aya Belial is absolutely worth taking, assuming it applies to Incubus. I think we've played a very reasonable game here, and I think we stand a great chance to succeed with, with 48 hour energy. So, how do you play this one, and how do you win this one? You take four. Oh, that's that must be from uh, not varicose, but you know what I'm talking about. V vascules. <laughs> we we take a full charge into the boss fight, then we use 48 hour energy uh, afterwards. And we should get like two to three increments. They're not they're not really doublings as we've talked about before, um, but we should get two to three increments, which actually will make a, a marked difference. This this is a great run. Like I'm I'm, we made it happen. I definitely would rather have 48 hour energy than I'm drowsy. We didn't. I mean, I say we made it happen. You know what? I was gonna be a little bit more. Uh, uh, humble. Then I looked at our items and I'm like, no, that was us, yeah. It's not that we got nothing, but we, it's not like we got substantially more than enough. I think we got like, you know, we, we got what we needed and we played the game right. I told you I don't need the world here to make it happen. I just, you know, just give me something. Alright, this, this should be fine. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Alright, this is going quite well. Now, dude, I've, I've really found myself enjoying uh, this fight. Now that I can finally uh, find it within my 
ability. I mean, Circle of Protection helps out a lot. But now that I can finally feel like somewhat confident to actually calculate like the stimulus that's coming in here, um, instead of just you know seeing it for one of the first times and being overwhelmed by like all the stuff that's on display. <laughs> Now I actually feel like, I mean, that these attacks are obviously easy, but I, I feel like it's actually plausible to, to dodge this stuff. It's getting a little tough. Thank you, Brain. I, I appreciate that one. There's a lot of stuff on the screen there temporarily, but... Yo, Guardian Angel blocked it, turned it into a, an Eternal Heart. Funniest thing I've ever seen, dude. You, you're, you're dead. You're already dead. Like... I'm, I'm sweating at zero. Yeah, look at that. That was an amazing run, though. And we unlocked Blood Puppy. How about that? Finally! Finally! Some some progress, some performance. Feels good. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of here, brush my teeth, and start my stream. See you next time. See ya!